episode nine of Only Murders in the Building is about to start. It literally just premiered on Hulu five minutes ago. I got my snacks and I decided to bring my Osmo down for the, this one because I just feel like this episode is going to be batshit. Like it's episode nine leading into the finale, which is episode 10. I just feel like it's going to be crazy. So I brought my Osmo down just in case I want to pause and start reacting because I just feel like it's going to be a crazy one. So let us go to Hulu. I'm so excited. There it is. Ah, season four, episode nine. Okay, okay, okay. So really quick, I just posted on TikTok as well, my video of my thoughts before the episode. So that's on, that's already up on TikTok. And then I'm gonna post my thoughts after the episode like I always do. So let us start. My friend. I'm trying to solve her murder. Right, for your podcast. Oh my god, it looks like it's already gonna talk about stuff I've already thought. They're gonna talk about the shop. Pause. I gotta turn these lights on. Okay, we're back. We're still in the recap. Come on. She said he's gonna be the death of me. What's Project Ron Konkuma? Here we go. Project Ron Konkuma. She's talking about Marshall, not Glenn Sevens. Is that Marshall? Is that Marshall? That was some flip. I teach that in my advanced somersault intensive, which is in the winter. You ever stunted before? Oh, it's not gonna show. I swear it's Marshall. It's Marshall. It's gotta be Marshall. Excuse me, you can't go in there. This is Not the bad accent. And it sure is good to know, yeah. Well, the accent's new. You murder a friend? <laughs> You're not going in. That's <laughs> final. Casually. <laughs> also, what's with the beer? Oh, uh, we were going No, it's. Laura, <laughs> you thought the smell of beer would rouse him? Maybe. Oh, why? Not the Ouija board. So? <laughs> it's the bartender from Concussions. Oh, I knew Concussions was going to come back up. Jackass, protege on Project Ron Konkuma was giving her a hard time, and Glenn Stubbins ended up with credit on the movie. No. Glenn was brought in to replace Saz's protege. The guy fucked up so bad, Saz had to blackball him. So Saz ended her protege's okay. career, and then Glenn replaced him. That's okay, we're knocking this out in the beginning. So Glenn was never our shooter. He was another victim. Who was this protege? And what happened on who is Project Rock Conquer? I didn't know the guy. The only ones who know what went down are Saz, Glenn, and the director. Who was a director? All we have to do is track down the director of that movie. Beth? Who was? Ron Howard. Oh. Finally a celebrity this season. <laughs> Not all the celebrity cameos. Okay, so we knocked out in the beginning already that that it's not Glenn was a protege. I love that we knocked that out because now we can uncover more. Oh my god. Oh my god. Go Project Ron Konkuma. They're hiding Marshall this whole time. We're gonna make it million and one. Ready? Step one, grab the fireproof jock, the deep freeze, strap it on. Step two, slather up your tender bits with this stuff. Wrists, neck, That's Marshall. Anything not it's Marshall. If it's not, what if it's a whole twist and it's not Marshall? And it's someone else. Step three. Yes, if they chattered, it's been old. Fuck, what if that happens? My old man and has kept me safe all these years. Here, for you. Try it on. Lather yourself up. And we're gonna torch you. Oh, I'm so psyched for you. Frank! You good? Huh? <sighs> my face is covered by a plant, <laughs> but my pompadour is pumping. Great. Your pictures know each other. That's. Charles planning a bachelor party? Oh my god. Uh, that is the hand we have been dealt. And we all have to keep it a secret for the rest of our lives. 
Oh God. Is that foreshadowing? Whiskey, A-list celebrities. The movie is addicted to being a piece of shit. I hate the costume. And every jacket Marshall turns in is worse than the last. It's like I can't even remember the script that I fell in love with. Because it's not Marshall. Bev just said she can't remember the script she fell in love with because it's not Marshall's script. Because Marshall didn't write the script. Also, she's blending jerky. Yeah, same reaction. The script's gonna be a clue, I feel like. She's gonna be like, Marshall does not write good. Watch Oliver not be lying about this and he actually has this Ron Howard connection. <laughs> You'll know what that means. Look, I'm gonna be real with you. It's time for me to change my emergency contact to Loretta. Whole new life gives me chills. Aww. Okay, listen up. I need everyone to line up and deliver your best terrified reaction. Charles just got sad. Let's go home. Purpose, probably. Oh my god, that was great. That scene was amazing. Oh my god, Glenn's wake Glenn's waking up. Is someone gonna be there? Are you any angel? Relax. You're in the hospital. You've been shot in the head. Me. The heart. You had some friends come here earlier, a couple of married old men and our caretaker. They wanted to ask you all about the stunt guy on Project from Kunkuma. Yes, right. No, I, I, I need to talk to him right away. Yeah, I'll let them know you're right away. Oh, I'm so um. Would you do me the honor of being Mrs. Glenn Stubbins? Yeah. I'm so I'm Glenn Stubbins. I'll get your doctor. Okay. <laughs> He's gonna talk to them. Can I, I get a room without the rats? The rats thing? What is that though? Don't forget to take a deep breath before they light you up. The last thing you want to do is inhale flames into your lungs. And when the director yells cut, you stop, drop, and let him hose you down. What if it's not Marshall? Seconds before you do anything else in case you need a spark. Ready? Yeah, it has to be him. Now go make my papa cry. Unless they totally are toying with us. Doing this for Sam is doing this for Sam. What is he wearing? What is he How wearing? Is Ron Ron going to recognize me? <laughs> that night in the Chinese restaurant, my said was distinctively not life size Sour Patch Kid. And why do we have to wear spandex and Mabel only gets makeup? Uh, because you guys are a bunch of Kongos and I'm just a girl. Right, Kongos. I mean, I'm sorry, but what is this movie? Are we witnessing the end of Ron Howard's career? No, no, no. What I learned about Ron um, is you know, got to just trust him. I told him, I said, Ron, you're the beautiful mind. And he loved that. He just plunked down the credit card and paid for the whole suit. Oh, my God, guys. I have to get out of here and get to the hospital. Glenn Stubbins is awake. Also, I'm going to see if they can remove the part of my brain that stores the image of you and SpaceX. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, by the way, I've been thinking about your bachelor party, and I think I got a winner. Finally, yes, let's hear it. I hope the spandex and the balls inspired you. Okay, uh, remember that hot dog restaurant we went yeah. to? And uh, there was a phone booth outside, but it wasn't really a... Great. Just forget it. 
And you're not wearing this either. It's not Mabel. It's not Mabel. It's not Mabel. Who is it? Oh my god. Oh my god. No. Oh my god. Oh my god. So A coded. No. No. Did Glenn just die? Are you there? No. It's me. It's Marshall. Hey, you're not talking to Ron. Listen up. Or Jan, who murdered him because she thought he did killed Saz. You're gonna look scared and you're gonna run off. Fuck. Yeah? Great. I know. Oh my god. Oh god, they're gonna fight on set and they're gonna keep it in whatever movie this is. Watch for Oliver be like, yeah, that sounds great. <laughs> Oh my god. Where is he? I'm so sorry. He's dead. Oh, my Glenn. What happened? I don't know. He seemed fine. He was making me laugh. I called his people to let them know he was awake in my room. But when I returned, he... call and tell that Glenn was awake. Just you and his emergency contact? Saz Pataki? You called Saz? Did a man answer? Did I do something wrong? Saz was Glenn's emergency contact. Holy fuck! Holy action. shit! Okay, we have to get the reveal here, right? Oh my god, that's the same guy! I told you we'd do it now! That's the same guy for the Ron Howard. Jeez, oh, no. Oh, no. What happened? What happened? <laughs> what just happened? You need a hand? No, no. Suffer That was really harsh. You're my emergency contact. Oh. What? Well, when I fill out forms, I put your name. And I know you used to put mine. But now it's Loretta's. That's why he got to you know, I always knew Mabel would one day spread her wings and leave. But you and me, I thought we'd, you know, grow old er, <laughs> and die together. Uh, and don't get me wrong, I like Loretta. I'm you crying. like Loretta. I'm crying. I'm kind of a awkward guy third wheeling it on your dates you know saying hey <laughs> let the dessert three ways I'm you know, crying I never wanted really to throw you a bachelor party I just wanted to celebrate our friendship <laughs> I'm I'm crying 
Watch it go to the Chinese place and Ron Howard's there. Ron Howard's gonna be there. And Oliver's story's gonna be true. i that was so sweet. You know we're gonna be friends till the end. Oh god. I'm fine. You don't have to say anything nice to me. Especially not while making eye contact. You <laughs> went behind our menus. That, 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 that could work now. <laughs> I didn't have a bachelor party, but I do want you to be my best man. <laughs> Noodles look good, and if it makes you feel better, you can be my light alert contact in case it falls. And we can get colonoscopies together. I'm yeah. so dead. Yeah. Uh, maybe the dumplings? Can I something to drink? Oh, uh, two Johnny Walkers. Oh, they're gonna switch his photo. Nope, he's gonna show up. You? <laughs> oh, okay, Charles. Um, let me hide behind my menu until the awkwardness of this moment clears. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> I loved it in Mayberry when you'd go down by the fishing hole. Oh my god, oh my god. Marshall on screen. Oh, Marshall, I'm not in the mood for this right now. Please, it'll be quick. Do, do you think Mabel would say the name's Mora? Mabel Mora. Or I'm Mabel fucking Mora. I'm thinking number two. How about I say how they're running loose? Oh god. It, it's, it's awful. I, I'm awful. <gasps> no! Please. Beth is threatening to fire me if I don't get these right. I'll, I'll do anything. I'm He's just, in the I'm apartment. I, just, I can't capture your voice. Yeah, well, I don't think my voice needs to be captured. Another person is dead. And had I solved the case or figured out the stuntman angle sooner, he'd still be alive. But she not. mentioned stuntman angle. Wow. That is some Mabel dialogue. Do you mind if I just? I'm gonna. She's gonna notice something about him. His so shoes, leans over to me and he says, or something. I don't actually like ranch. Action! Oh my god! Everything went smooth. The man screeched to a halt. The stuntman was thrown out onto the ground, out with gasoline, lit on fire. It was exactly right. So I yelled, "Cut!" Okay, cut! Fire out! They put the guy out. Okay, uh, let's go to the steady cam. Except the guy. Didn't wait to make sure who was completely out. Next thing I know, he's walking toward me. Hey, great job. Saying he had something he wanted to show me. And, and, and suddenly, he reignites. Oh! Jeez, oh. ah. whiz! Burn my eyebrows off. <gasps> okay, I know that I say fuck a lot, but. Yeah, maybe you're right. I should have more faith in myself. I mean, it worked for you. You want a beer? Hit me. You finally got one of your scripts made. That's right, I did. <gasps> There's a note. Oh my god, it's the script. It's the script. Whoa. It says a script. Her beer case. I knew that wasn't a throwaway line. We need to find that stuntman. If you do, get my shoes back for me, will you? He stole them right out of my trailer. I had to buy another pair. I can't work without these. They got extra <gasps> cushions. The footprint! Same as on the radiator. That's our guy. Do you remember his name? Oh, I'll never forget him. Rex Bailey. I have a photo of him, if that helps. Oh my god, Marshall's I name isn't uh, Marshall? Of people I banned from my sets. Uh, oh, the Sazis so. script is in the bear case. Here he is. Oh. 
kind of looks like, yeah, but imagine with a beard and had some glasses and a dark bowl cut. Oh my God. Sad his protege is Marshall. That was some flip. You ever spent it before? I'm trying to be a writer, but I wouldn't say no to getting on set. Your first professional fire stunt. Oh, right? Fire out! Okay, so let's go to the steady cam. And I know I said Mr. Howard. Howard. Mr. Howard. He wants to show him a script. Would you read my screenplay? Ah, wouldn't you go to me or last night? He killed him? Ah! <laughs> But do we think he killed Saz? Saz wrote the script! <laughs> Mabel, get out of there. Mabel. Marshall? Hmm? No! Why does this script say it was written by Saz Pataki? M Mabel, what the fuck? Why would you... And her phone's right there. Marshall, Mabel, what the? Ah! That's it, that's it, that's it. Fuck, I thought we had more. I thought we had more time. Oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God. Dude, I was right, I was right, I was right. Ah! Okay, I gotta go film a TikTok now. <laughs> Well, what do you fucking know? Congrats to everybody. Spoilers, episode 9 only merges in the building. Let's talk about it. Congrats to everybody. We figured that shit out. Marshall was the protege. Saz wrote the script. I also reacted to this entire episode that I'm going to put on here once I edit and get that footage. But let's dive deep into this, okay? Because I am so ready. Again, I knew this episode was going to be crazy because the last one with the Wessies and everything, I was a little bit mild. So I was like, this next one's going to be insane. And it was. We got the Saz flashback that I predicted. We got, I said we were going to go back to the concussions bar, but we didn't do that. But we got the bartender to come and visit Glenn. We got Marshall fucking killing Glenn. There's a whole thing about that as well. Okay, what the fuck, Mabel? Why would you bring up that Saz wrote the script when he's alone in the apartment? And I grant it, he would have seen the text message that they sent anyway, but still, like, that was frustrating. I just really want to touch base, and you'll see it in my reaction video, but the scene between Oliver and Charles made me cry. Like, that was so beautiful. I've been calling it, I've been calling it that Marshall's been so stressed about all these rewrites that he's been having to do all season. And I was like, they keep bringing that up. There's no way he didn't write the script. Saz wrote it. She wanted to bring her best friend back in the spotlight, wanted to bring Brazos and Charles back in the spotlight, and she wrote The Only Murders in the Building, the movie. We are one episode away from the season finale, and it's going to be a big cliffhanger. I think someone's going to die at the wedding, okay? But here's the thing I'm going to say. I do not think Marshall killed Saz. Oh, I don't think Marshall killed Saz. I think he definitely was a play. It had a play in it. But let me tell you, you know why? Because do you remember my name theory? My name theory that I brought up a couple weeks ago and people think that I was crazy about it? Well... The name theory still lives up because, sure, his name is Rex Bailey, but, like, we didn't know that. So his whole time, we know him as Marshall P. Pope, okay? So what are we going to do? Look at this. And really quick to refresh you about the name theory, actually, season one, Tim, Jan, three letters, Bunny, Poppy, same as Becky, and Bunny, five letters, um, season three, Ben, Glenroy, Cliff, Donna, Cliff, Demio, Donna, Demio, Ben Glow, 10 letters. Every season, the victim and the killer has had the same number of letters in their name. Every season so far, okay? Is that too big of a coincidence? And it works with their government name too. It works with Timothy Kono, Jan Bellows, okay? It work, it, mm. So if we take my name theory that people are like, oh, I don't know, you're kind of crazy, you're reading into it. Well, let's take a fucking look right now at who just passed this episode okay so who passed away this episode that way right? glenn stubbins well glenn stubbins has freaking 12 letters in it glenn stubbins has 12 letters marshall pope 
that we knew him as, Marshall Pope, has 12 letters. Victim, killer. You're telling me that's not a co that's a coincidence every season? So, this is why I believe Marshall Pope it either is Marshall P. Pope, which is 13 letters, or Marshall Pope, which is 12 letters. Saz Pataki is 10 letters, or Sarah Pataki is 11 letters. I think the killer, if my name theory is right, which it has not failed so far, the killer is somebody with a 10-letter or 11-letter name. Or there could be two, two more involved with that, and it could be, it could fit both. <laughs> okay, this is where we're going to go into a little bit crazy stuff, and I need to make a separate video about this, but 11-letter name, Rudy Thruber, Vincent Fish, Inez Oliveira, there's still other 11-letter names, but 10-letter name, Helga Hainoi, or Hainoi, however you pronounce it. Okay, okay, I think... There's more to fucking Helga. There's more. I'm going to make a whole separate video about this, so you guys are going to hear me repeat myself. But there's more to Helga. First of all, her dad was a locksmith. She's a locksmith. She knows how to get into apartments and everything. I That's not a throwaway thing. It, there's no way it can be. Rudy says that it's hard to write on his abs backwards. And re, you know how obsessed I've been about that Rudy left a note on Oliver's door in season one because the handwriting is the same. Well, what if Rudy actually didn't write on himself? And what if it was Helga's handwriting? And Helga's actually the one who wrote the note because Helga is also fucking sus. Another reason is because if you go back to earlier episode, I think episode three, when Eva and, and Mabel went to go confront Rudy, what happens? His ham radio goes off and is the theme to Perfect Strangers. He leaves. What's happening during that time? Howard is listening to the ham radio while he's watching the pig in Oliver's apartment while Oliver and Zach Galifianakis are out frolicking. And Howard's keeping a documented journal. And he told, when Oliver came back, he said, well, just a lot of people talk about the weather and the theme song to Perfect Strangers and blah, blah, blah. Later that night, when Oliver and Charles are in Mabel's apartment that's Dudnoff's apartment they were talking about it and she was humming the perfect stranger song and then they were like what's that and then she's like oh i heard it on rudy's ham radio and then oliver's like oh the perfect stranger song wait a minute he's like howard heard that on the radio today and he looked at his notebook and they said meet at 445 and they're like what's 445 and they're like it's a frequency and they turn on the radio and they go to 445 and who's on 445 helga so if we put the timeline together helga was telling somebody during the middle of the day when all that stuff was happening to meet on 445. And I think she was telling Rudy. I think she called Rudy's ham radio and told him to meet on 445 to discuss something. They lied that he was his girlfriend, but what if they didn't? What if they didn't? They, the Westies, you can't trust the Westies. Either way, Rudy left to talk to somebody on his ham radio. Helga was on the ham radio on 445. She said the last person that was, came asking questions ended up dead. And she said, stop or you're next. Was that a threat, actually? And, and the Westies all talked about how Helga was crazy and how they didn't associate with her anymore. They have her fucking picture crossed out. I just think there's so much more to her. So why would Rudy be going and meeting her on 445, on frequency 445? Maybe he's not directly involved in the murder, but I think there's more to her. This video is getting too long and I need to make a separate video about that where I'm going to repeat some of that, but... I'm sorry, just please tell me, am I crazy? Is my name theory still crazy? Or is it just another coincidence that it adds up that the victim and the murderer are the same? The twist it could be that Saz may not be dead. Saz might not be dead. Uh, J-A-N-B-E-L-L-O-W-S. Jan Bellows also equals 10. She killed Timothy Kono. Timothy Kono, that's 10. I don't think she would have killed Saz. That would be crazy. This is a lot. This is a lot. But yeah, 